and you know it was great like we got along really well like i said like he his you know he learned a lot more english with us he learned a lot of bullshit with us too we taught him all sorts oh, of nonsense of Always. Uh, <laughs> but uh but we would we would talk for hours and hours just with the dictionary he would like you know he would try to ex we'd try to explain to each other stuff like you know when like you're like sad and like you know oh like you, you feel bad and he's just like oh okay and then like he'd look at and then he'd show me on the thing and i'd be like yeah yeah yeah, yeah that we do for hours and hours we have like a great time and so uh i remember once uh way later on mm. uh like once i you know i moved to la and i couldn't get any work in art at all no animation no comics mm. no nothing mm. partly because i wanted to do like anime manga inspired stuff like i was mm. really into it at that point like when i met shuichi i was kind of getting into it um like at the time i had a girlfriend that was really into anime mm. so i kind of got into it too I, like i saw ghost in the shell and i was like oh mm. that's pretty good mm. You know, and then I started seeing some more things. I was like, okay, like it's, and you know, once I met Shuichi and I saw that Capcom book, I kind of like started really going in that direction. Mm -hmm. And um, and one of the first times I ever thought, like, man, I wish I could speak Japanese, was when I was talking to Shuichi in the apartment and like with the dictionary and everything. Because oh, okay, yeah, we got mm -hmm. along so well. Mm -hmm. Like it's just you know, like Kiga out mm -hmm. right. type of thing where it's right. like, you know, I, we're not boys we're not proficient at each other's languages mm -hmm. but we're like still, yeah we're yeah, definitely yeah. boys and like yeah. he could understand like you can understand the feeling yeah of the other person really well you yeah. know and like i've been lucky to meet a couple people like that but mm -hmm. like you you can tell right away like yeah. language yeah. or not you're just like yeah. ah this motherfucker. like, yeah, like Kigao so that was, plus Norigao. exactly like, yeah yeah so that was yeah. shuichi right mm -hmm. like he put up with all my nonsense i mean I, you know i'd <laughs> Dude, I, I would teach him both dances. <laughs> yeah, dancer was it was what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up. Like when I, when he when he asked what what's up was, mm. then I was like, yeah. When you're just hanging out with your friends and you want to know how they're doing, mm. <laughs> like I did this dance. But dude, he would do. He got right on it. So never forget that, dude. <laughs> yeah, never, dude. And uh, so like I I remember thinking like mm. you know we were we understood each other we had the dictionaries to get like the precise word we're looking for mm. but i also remember thinking man like i wish i could hear him in his own language like with his uh, own true true mm, voice like right. his true voice uh, you know because when you're speaking or, right mm. right right like you know when you're speaking another language depending on how proficient you are in it mm. there's you can't really like style it like the exactly. you yeah. like yeah. who you yeah. are you know yeah. so and I felt like he, you know, he couldn't do that in English and I couldn't do that in Japanese. So like, we were kind of, we were definitely on the same page, but like, I'm like, man, I really mm. want to hear this guy like in his own Japanese voice. Mm. And and that's the first time in my life I ever thought, man, I, like, I, man, I wish I knew, I knew Japanese. Like if I learned Japanese, like I could have a laugh with this dude. Mm. Uh, I remember thinking, I'll never learn that language. That's ridiculous. Mm. I had a buddy, a buddy, Elu, in uh in argentina in high school he took japanese in high school like as his as his like language course mm. i took french and like <laughs> and i laughed at him because like he always like he, his exams were super hard he had to learn you know <clears throat> hiragana katakana and mm. kanji yeah and then like the grammar was so different and confusing and like yeah. he would explain to me a little bit also at the time i was like ah whatever i don't care mm. like it's just too bad for you you chose that language <laughs> like you should have taken french like me me opposite uh, yeah. I took Japanese and all my friends like, I'm going to take German. I'm like, good luck with that, son. <laughs> <laughs> well, you already had Korean, so that's good, right? So I was kind of like, oh, this is okay. I mean, it gets harder later on. But right. at first, if you speak Korean, it's kind of easy to start. Did they tell you why? Like, I remember I took French just because uh, I always <clears> thought it sounded cool. And like, you know, I'd see there'd be French movies and like, mm. you know, Cartoons, there'd be some mm. cartoons in Argentina that were from France. No, my friend's ideas was like, okay, like, uh, <clears throat> there's a college, university, mm -hmm. Seoul University, which is like Todai in Korea. Gotcha. So, I mean, you know, to take, yeah, to take the test, they only right. accept German. So I'm like, yo, oh. like, you guys oh, really? think you guys gonna get into Seoul University? That's your reason you chose German? <laughs> that already You're tells a, a lot, man. That already tells a lot. 